Hello, science fans. Let's talk about Voyager 1, Bill Nye. Today, I want to share the story of a brave little explorer, Voyager 1, a space probe launched in 1977. Its mission? To use a rare planetary alignment for a grand tour of the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn, using their gravity as a cosmic slingshot. Back then, these planets were just fuzzy dots in our telescopes. Voyager 1 changed that. Packed with cameras and sensors, it became our robotic scientist, revealing Jupiter's great red spot up close and discovering volcanoes on Io. At Saturn, it showed us the complexity of the rings and found new moons, transforming our understanding of the solar system. But Voyager 1's journey didn't end there. After Saturn, it left the plane of the solar system, heading for interstellar space. It carries the golden record, a time capsule with sounds, music, and greetings from Earth, meant for any intelligent life it might encounter. Voyager 1 became humanity's messenger, venturing into the unknown. Its mission was born from pure curiosity, a desire to understand our cosmic neighborhood. And it's still out there, further from Earth than any other human-made object. That's the incredible legacy of Voyager 1. Let's zoom in on Voyager 1's journey. Launched in 1977, its first stop was Jupiter in 1979, where it captured stunning images and revealed violent storms and faint rings. Voyager 1's instruments measured Jupiter's intense radiation and magnetic field and discovered active volcanoes on Io, something never seen beyond Earth. Using Jupiter's gravity, it slingshotted to Saturn, arriving in 1980. Voyager 1 gave us our first detailed look at Saturn's rings, countless icy particles orbiting in intricate patterns. It also studied Titan's thick atmosphere, a key moment in planetary science. To get close to Titan, Voyager 1's path took it away from the other outer planets, ending its planetary tour. Its twin, Voyager 2, continued to Uranus and Neptune. But Voyager 1 was now headed for the edge of the solar system. Its journey through the planets was a triumph, but its greatest adventure was just beginning. Voyager 1 was now on a one-way trip into the unknown, destined to wander the galaxy. The real exploration was just starting. After Saturn, Voyager 1 entered the vast outer solar system, traveling through the heliosphere a bubble created by the sun's solar wind. For years, it measured solar wind, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields, sending back invaluable data. In 1990, at Carl Sagan's request, Voyager 1 took the iconic pale blue dot photo, Earth as a tiny pixel, highlighting our fragility in the cosmos. As it moved farther from the sun, the solar wind slowed, and Voyager 1 approached the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends. Scientists eagerly awaited the moment it would cross into interstellar space. In August 2012, after 35 years, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause. The data confirmed it. Solar particles dropped. Cosmic rays increased. Voyager 1 became the first human-made object in interstellar space. It was a monumental achievement. Our first direct sample of the space between stars. Now Voyager 1 is our scout beyond the solar system, reporting back from the galaxy's edge. Its journey redefined what's possible for human exploration. And it's still going. Fast forward to today. Voyager 1 is over 24 billion kilometers away, still sending data from interstellar space. Recently, it detected something new and unexpected, a faint, persistent hum in the void. This matters because Voyager 1 is in a region we've never studied directly before. Imagine sending a robot outside your house for the first time. It's experiencing the galaxy firsthand. Voyager 1 is our sense of touch and hearing in interstellar space. The new data challenges our ideas about what's out there. We thought interstellar space was nearly empty and silent, but Voyager 1 found a subtle, constant vibration, a hum. This signal is only detectable because Voyager 1 is beyond the sun's noisy influence. Every new measurement is precious. 
Voyager's nuclear battery is fading, and soon it will fall silent. Each day it works is a gift, revealing the galaxy is more dynamic than we imagined. This discovery is a crucial piece of a cosmic puzzle. Voyager 1 is rewriting our understanding of the universe. And time is running out. So, what is this hum? Voyager 1's instruments detected a faint, steady vibration in the plasma, the fourth state of matter that fills most of the universe. Its plasma wave system acts like a microphone for electric fields, usually picking up bursts from solar events. But now, it's hearing a continuous, low-frequency hum, even when the sun is quiet. This isn't a monster or alien signal. It's scientifically unsettling because it's so unexpected. Imagine thinking a room is silent, then hearing a constant buzz. That's what scientists are experiencing. The hum suggests interstellar space isn't just empty. It's alive with subtle activity. It's a whisper from the cosmos, showing the interstellar medium is vibrating, not still. Scientists are now racing to figure out what causes it. Turbulence, plasma waves, or something else? This discovery opens a new mystery about our galaxy's nature. It's a beautiful, slightly unnerving reminder of how much we still have to learn. Voyager 1's hum is a cosmic clue, not an answer. The universe is more complex than we thought, and that's what makes science exciting. Scientists are baffled because this hum doesn't fit our old models of space. We thought the interstellar medium was nearly still, disturbed only by big solar events, like a pond only rippling when a rock is thrown. But the hum is like finding the pond always gently vibrating. This means the plasma out there is more dynamic and energetic than we predicted. Now we can measure the baseline density of interstellar plasma directly and continuously. The big question, what's powering this constant vibration? It could be thermal energy, magnetic fields, or something entirely new. This puzzle is what makes science thrilling. When reality doesn't match our theories, we're on the verge of discovery. Voyager 1, after four decades, is still rewriting our textbooks. Its hum is a new question from the stars, not an answer. And that's the heart of exploration. Why does a faint hum in deep space matter to us? First, it's about the joy of discovery, expanding our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Practically, knowing the interstellar environment is crucial for future space missions. The hum is like a weather report for interstellar space, helping us design safer spacecraft. Voyager's long-term mission shows the value of investing in science for the future. The knowledge inspires new generations and often leads to unexpected technological advances. The hum also reminds us of the pale blue dot, how special and protected our home is. The universe is wild and active just beyond our solar system's bubble. This discovery gives us context and appreciation for our own world. It's a cosmic perspective that connects us all. What's next? Scientists will keep listening to Voyager 1 as long as possible, analyzing the hum and comparing it with Voyager 2's data. These twin probes are our eyes and ears in a new frontier. This isn't the end. It's a beginning, opening a new window into our galaxy. Future missions, like an interstellar probe, will build on Voyager's discoveries, going farther and faster. Voyager's story is about our relentless curiosity and drive to explore. Generations of scientists have worked together, passing the torch of discovery. Investing in exploration is investing in humanity's future. So next time you look at the night sky, remember Voyager 1, our tiny explorer, hearing the galaxy's hum. The journey is just beginning. Keep exploring. The universe is waiting.